We are in Kona, Hawaii, ahead of the Ironman World Championships 2023 for the women's only race. And behind me is the tech tour. Yep, I am about to go and see what exciting tech has been released ahead of the biggest race of the year. And I've been told there's a few gems to go and find. probably see I am getting pretty hot. It is scorching out here in Kona and as a result, Omius, these guys have been selling incredibly fast. You'll probably recognize this sort of grid-like structure you've seen on the heads of the likes of Lucy Charles Barkley. And until now, all they have had is just the pure headband. And this year, they have launched it in a visor and in a cap. So you've got three different options of how you go for it. And as for the technology, these little pieces are basically made of graphite stone and they have to sit touching your skin. So you'll see on the back of the cap or the visor, the, the pieces there, they have to sit touching your skin. Apparently they have to be wet and there has to be some amount of wind. So however slowly, as long as you're moving forwards, there will be wind and therefore it conducts the heat away from your head. I've not used one. I'm tempted to put one on now. I mean, I'm not sure it quite looks right when you're walking around the expo, but um, it's pretty tempting. Okay, I've taken the first chance I've had to sit down, find some shade with a breeze behind me. It's rather lovely, but that's not why I'm sitting down. I'm here to talk about another new piece of tech that actually isn't here in the tech tour. It's a release from Debord. They have their new Tsunami 3.0 swim skin, and this is made with their tri -Dium fabric, which is a new fabric. It's been designed in Milan, and it's also coming out just this week ahead of the Kona Ironman World Championships. If you've got keen eye, you might have spotted it on Steph Clutterbuck. She wore it in the Oalo swim race. Chelsea Sodaro will be wearing it on race day, among a few of the other pros. So yeah, another exciting piece of new kit. I've just walked into the Zoot stand and I have spotted, obviously, lots of beautiful designs, but these two in particular, these are the Kona 2023 special. So I have the P1 tri suit, which is apparently their fastest tri suit in their range, and these unique designs which have just been released. So we've got the Koa Tropical, this white version here with the beautiful flowers, and then we've got the Koa Blue behind. Now, I've been told apparently the blue would suit me better. I don't know, you guys let me know, but. Just nice to see some snazzy stuff coming out, especially for this women's race. Well, it wouldn't be a tech tour without lots of exciting tech. And sat on the bench beside me are quite a few pieces that I think you will be very interested in. They are from Profile Design. First up, we're gonna start with this. This is the RZ3, an upgrade on the RZ2. Basically an aero bottle that is more aero than the RZ2. And I think you can obviously always make use of an aero bottle on your frame, wherever that sits. So, Take a look. And this is out already, so you can go check it out and place an order. Then we have this, which is not yet on the market, but I think it's quite cool, so I want to show you anyway. It's the HSC 250 mil gel bottle. And as you can see, it's obviously in a shape to fit on your top tube. And I think it's really exciting. So many brands now are producing gels, or for example, Precision Fuel and Hydration have the Flow Gel, which is designed to go in a bottle. And this is basically the perfect place to be able to access those gels really easily. You're not gonna forget to take your nutrition if it's on your top tube and yeah, designed to be aero at the same time. Well, now we're moving on to something that Profile Design are probably more known for, and that is their carbon aero bars. And you might be familiar with their 43 ASC. Well, they have now brought out the 52 ASC, and the most notable thing, the number referencing the angle here that we have. So this is now at a 52 degree, and they've also slightly lengthened this part of the aero bars. And another interesting part here is the fact that they've actually come in two sizes. So you have the 340 in its length, and then you have the 400. And it's not just the ends here that they're cutting off. I mean, anybody could do that, but it's actually the whole process or the whole bar has been trunk or grown to fit your arm. So hopefully you should be able to find something that fits you. And yeah, I think I'm probably the 400. Feels pretty comfortable. Oh, and one last thing that apparently I can't really show you, but I can sort of, you're not really allowed to have a look, but there's something under my arm. It's coming out soon. Well, in a little while. Well, for this tech tour, we jump around again because we have just got an exclusive look at Lucy Charles Barkley's brand new paintwork on her Cube Arian C68X. And take a look at this. This has only just been released specifically for race day. And you can probably guess it is mermaid theme. Yeah, Lucy basically wanted something that represents her. 
And we're going to have a closer look in a minute, but you'll get to see the scales from the mermaid within this. But it's also showing, apparently, all the different colours of the ocean. And when you actually look down on the base bars, it's almost as though you're looking into a 3D sort of ocean. It's very cool. There's specks of gold within this. There's various little mottos that Lucy's got for herself, and she's worked very closely with Cube on this. That's the pretty part, which you can feast your eyes over. There's also been a few other adaptations. There's also some very bespoke bits that have been made just for Lucy, including these aero bars that have been made with the Cube Carbon Lab and they have been fitted with layers of carbon to adapt to her arms. And she's actually, if you study Lucy's position closely, you'll see that she's moved her position slightly further forwards. So these bars compared to her old bike are now actually further up. So just changing her position ever so slightly. There's also a carbon adapter just behind the seat post so that it means she can carry her two bottle cages extra sort of efficiently, really close. There's no gap for any air there. If you like a bit of detail, she's also changed her chain ring here and she She's now running a 56 big ring instead of a 58, which she used last year. So a few notable changes, but I think we really need to focus on this beautiful colorway. Okay, I know we're doing the tech tour. And we are in the expo in the tech area, but behind me, it's basically a hair salon. I'm tempted, I mean, look at this mop, they would have their work cut out. I don't think they've got time or I've got time to go and sit down and have my hair done as much as I would love to, it might be back later. However, I just really hope that they are also here next year because, I mean, the men, some of them have luscious locks and why should they not get this opportunity? Well, I've obviously got to pop by Precision Fuel and Hydration, but they don't have any new hydration products out in Kona, but they do have this new little bit of merch, the Legionnaire cap. And it's obviously very well designed for being in the heat and protecting your neck. And we're at a women's race, and I didn't actually realize until you turn this cap around that there's a little hole for your ponytail. We've come inside for this one, in fact, into the Zwift house as a, as a brand new product that has just launched this Wednesday. It is the Zwift Hub One, and it's an update, quite a significant update on their original smart trainer. You'll notice most significantly that there is no cassette on this trainer. Your bike chain simply slots straight in to the Zwift cog. And the best bit about it, you can pretty much put any bike from an 8 through to a 12 speed onto this trainer. So if someone in your house has a mountain bike, someone else has a time trial bike, they can both be used straight away. The device actually just calibrates it for you. So you don't have to do any fine tuning and you're then given the same 24 gears, whatever bike you're riding. And those gears are then controlled through this here, the Zwift Click, and it basically allows you to change gear, basically virtually. So you are feeling the resistance, I can feel that go up, you can't hear anything, and it's a very smooth change. In fact, so smooth that I can continue to put the power on as I'm moving up or down, so great for racing. And obviously, you're not gonna have any chain slippage. So all of this comes in time for the Northern Hemisphere winter. Maybe less useful if you're out here in Kona. All right, I am now at the wind stand in the expo, and you might recognize this woman, the reigning Ironman world champion heading into this race. And then this very special suit. We got a glimpse of this design earlier at the Men's World Championships in Nice where they released the vest tops, but now the Kona edition tri-suit is out. And I would say if I was racing in the heat, I would love to be wearing that, all white with a nice sort of speckling of gold. It's a pretty special looking suit. They've also got cycling kit to match. We've popped up away from the manners of the expo for another piece of the tech tour. And I'm quite lucky, I've actually got a pro to help talk me through this next piece. And it is a new device from Lever, which Laura, I know you use a lot. What have you got inside this rucksack? Yeah, so this is pretty exciting. Um, you said it already, I love to use the lever system and usually the package is around this long um, and big, uh, so it's not that handy for traveling especially. So this is the new lever travel version, I would call it. Um, it comes in a backpack, so that's pretty handy. And yeah, I was even surprised that the whole system is actually in here. And obviously for the sake of this, we don't have a travel here, so we're not gonna be able to show you guys. It's also not yet officially out. So we will give you a sneak peek of what's inside it. But Laura, can you just quickly explain to anyone who's not seen the lever system or maybe not watched your YouTube channel of you running on one, how does it kind of work? What does it look like? It's basically like a system where you 
you put on a pant and you can lift yourself up a little bit so you weigh less so that um, already reduces the impact on your body and you can decide they even have an app where you can actually um, connect to the system so you see how much uh, weight you take off or you can decide how much weight you want to take off you can um, adapt it to any treadmill and I would say yeah, the, uh, it's really cool because you have a much more natural run feeling and uh, yeah, I love it. I'm a user pretty much from the first uh, moment on when they came to the market and yeah, don't want to miss it. We've popped out again to find another piece of tech. Look at this beautiful bike. We did spot it earlier in the week, but now it's officially out in the open. It is released. This is Chelsea Sodaro's Hawaii Speedmax CFR. And look at this absolutely stunning paintwork. Apparently, this took 60 hours to paint. It's been made by German artist Sina Kristin Warnke. And the attention to detail Beyond the beautiful paintwork, there's also lots of logos. This bike is the exact replica copy of the bike that Chelsea's going to be racing on. However, it's not the one she's racing on because we are a couple of days out and it's sat here for everyone to take a look at. So probably the best reason. Um, but the interesting thing is there are only two of these bikes made. This one and the one you'll see here on a race day. And you'll notice there's champion and mother written on it and there's the and sign. So this is a very special collaboration between and mother, which is a charity in America that's all about supporting women, having women's rights through motherhood, postpartum, and something that Chelsea, obviously being a mother herself, is very passionate about. And this bike is gonna be auctioned through and mother. So go and check them out if you want your chance of winning this incredible machine, but it's pretty damn special. Now, whilst I buy Chelsea's bike, I should probably talk about something that I spotted on her actual race bike. She had what looked like a prototype tire. It's not the tire we're seeing here, but it had some interesting grooves on. So I'm imagining it's some sort of aero prototype with very little branding on. I've done a little bit of digging, can't find out much about it. So we've been told it is a prototype. And if you look closely, you might recognize the decals Swiss side and 111, but that is all we know about it. And if you're looking really closely on race day, you might spot it obviously on Chelsea's bike. It's only on the front tire, Kat Matthews, Daniela, and on Justine Mathieu. I haven't got very far before I've been sidetracked by some more beautiful colors bespoke for Kona. This is Tres Pinas, a company from Miami, and there's definitely a bit of a Miami feel here. We've got this wonderful looking two-piece, which is all part of their new design for here. I think my favorite has to be that swimsuit. That would actually get me some training, I reckon. It's rather beautiful. And then, obviously, you've got to have a tri-suit, haven't you? I reckon we'll spot a few of those on race day. Yes, I am back in the wind store. I mean, I love their kit, but the main reason I came back, I heard about this rather special suit that has literally just come out today. So they've only just hung it up. And this is the colorway of none other than Chelsea Sodaro. So she's actually going to be racing in these colors. However, the suit is going to be ever so slightly different. This is like the Lakoa Kona suit. But apparently there's some unique fabrics in her actual suit that will be coming out to the public next year. So we're going to have to wait and keep our eyes peeled. But still, it's a rather beautiful colorway. And if you've seen her bike, well, it's going to look good together. Oh, and I actually didn't notice earlier that all of their suits for the Kona edition have this little patch here on the back. And that's for putting ice in, which I think is a really cool, definitely a Kona edition. Well, that has been pretty exhausting. We have been all over the place. I mean, quite a lot of tech here behind me in the expo, but also lots of bits out and about. So I hope that you have enjoyed it. You might have noticed this little thing on my wrist. It's round and that's about all that resembles a wheel, but it's a little token scrunchy from Head. They released obviously that incredible wheel last year, but nothing new from them this year. But hopefully there's been a nice balance of beautiful looking kit and women's specific kit, but also quite a lot of interesting tech. And if you have enjoyed it, you know that we love your support. So give us a like, and if you're not yet subscribing, click on the globe.